guest, everybody, is a Grammy Award-winning hip-hop superstar, an actor, and a producer. And trust me, if you don't know his music, your kids certainly do. <laughs> in 2008, he was sentenced to a year and a day in prison due to federal weapons charges. Now, he recently completed his time, and he says he's put it all behind him, and he's ready to move forward with his life. Please welcome T.I. So last time I saw you, I was on the radio, and uh -huh. you had on sunglasses and a hat, and, and it was a whole different kind of conversation, okay. right? It's nice to see you again, my friend. Likewise. You know, before we get into it, because I'm a foodie, so after you do a year and a day in jail, what's the first thing you eat when you get home? What do you, uh, mm, banana pancakes, what? Mm. Uh, I think it may have been soul food. Yeah. It may have been hot yeah, so, wings. It may have, yeah. I, I, I don't recall. I'm looking at your body language. Look how comfortable he is. Comfortable yet guarded. Your skin looks beautiful <laughs> and your teeth look really good. Just a handsome man. Thank you. So for those of you um, who are not as familiar, I'll catch you up to speed. Back in 2007, T.I. tried to buy guns from an undercover federal agent. He was in a parking lot of a major chain. It was the evening of the, it was the day of the big BET Awards in his home city of Atlanta. There were guns and silencers and all kinds of stuff, and that particular situation almost ended your career. Yeah. What was going through your mind at that time where you thought you needed such, you know, such hard artillery or, or anything at all and silencers? Well, you know, threats were made on my life. Yeah. Attempts were made on my life, and lives were claimed in my presence. Uh, so, you know, when enduring such an experience uh your judgment is swayed and 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 your vision is jaded and uh, coming from the environment that i came from i think anytime any of us experience life-altering circumstances yes. we resort back to our i guess our our natural our, our natural Instinct. reaction, our instinctive reactions, and coming from where I came from, that was my instinctive reaction. Okay, to to put it in perspective, uh, several months before um, the incident that happened with the guns that subsequently led him to jail, he was in Cincinnati, and he was with some of his people, and one of T.I.'s friends um, died in a shootout. There was a shootout, a hail of bullets. I remember yeah. reporting it in my old life on radios, like 50 bullets, and so he, he was he was scared, or as... I mean, you know, I mean, I... I aware. I, I mean, I was... I was there was some, there was, I think it was fear in the form of paranoia. You know, I just had an extreme concern. And, and, and there were a rash of home invasions going on in the city at the time. He's got and, six children and a fiance, yeah. so he's a family. I have, a, uh, you know, I have a family to, to the, 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 whose lives and, and, and safety that I am responsible for. Right. And, you know, I'm not going to make any excuses to excuse my behavior. I'm yeah. just in the best way I know how to attempt and to explain it. But you've had some time to, you know, rethink things. So what are you doing in your life differently now so that we don't have to um, hear about anything unfortunate like that? Because, you know, um, street violence, guns, have claimed the li lives of so many hip-hop icons like Biggie and Tupac. And it, I, I guess, you know, you had flashes of your life possibly ending the same way for you to be, in, you know, involved in such behavior. What are you doing differently now? Uh, well, I think that I'm applying thought to my actions a lot more, and, and I'm examining my environment before I place myself in them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, um, you just got out of jail, and we were talking about you here on Hot Topics, here on the show. Okay. You know, we do the Hot Topics, and, um, you know, T.I. everybody made a surprise visit to the Woodland Middle School in Georgia, and we talked about it on Hot Topics. Uh, you know, I'm a parent. Um, you've met our son before. The parents were upset that you spoke to students without their permission. Okay. 
um, and it was like a big hubbub. I'm sure you heard some of some yeah. of the, the comments afterwards. Yeah, I did. Uh, what's your thought on those parents and their thoughts on you coming to the school? Um, well, to be perfectly honest, uh, speaking freely, if I may, I, I honestly believe that they should be more concerned with the message than the guy giving the message. Yeah. I think they should ask their children, they should have asked their children, what did you hear? What did he say? Or how about they could have come to the school and sat quietly yeah. and heard the message yeah. themselves. Well, that was after the fact. Yeah. Their complaints came after the yeah. fact. I think they should have said, well, okay, what, what, what did this guy tell you? And I think the message is more important than who's giving it because if you have someone, an accountant, a dentist, uh, uh, you know, someone else coming in giving the same message, right. it won't be received. Yeah. And if the message isn't received, then it doesn't matter who's giving it. In other words, the kids relate to you, so sometimes the message of stay in school and do the right thing is better heard when it comes from somebody that the kids look up to. And T.I. also, um, I read about that, that, he didn't insinuate himself on the school. Absolutely. He not. was invited to the school. And, um, and anyway, how's Tiny? <laughs> How, Tiny is um, his fiance of eight years. Tiny's been supportive of you through the year. There they are. Uh huh. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> she's, she's doing good? Yeah, man, she's great. So her support, I mean, she's been your rock through it all, you know? Yeah. Did you buy her a nice gift when you got out? <laughs> I did okay. Yeah, I'll bet. I did okay. <laughs> All right, I want to hear more. T.I. is going to stick around, everybody. After the break, we're going to talk about more family life, his upcoming album, and his movie. T.I. is here. Don't miss it. Multi-talented T.I. and I was asking him about um, his his uh, fiance Tiny because they've been together for eight years. Uh, he's already given her a ring. They're engaged. He's not even talking about when they'll get married. It just is what it is. But it's all love, no, though. I didn't say that. No, well, I didn't say it is what it is. But it, no, I said that. Yeah. But it's all love. You've got he's got two children with Tiny. You've got um, six kids all together and yeah. four boys yeah. looking at you. So good luck with you know Thank doing you. the right thing regarding Thank them. You. Now business wise, this is a businessman. He's got a new album called Uncaged, and it's the end of a trilogy. Yeah, it yeah? is. Uh, I feel like. T.I. versus T.I.P. was the introduction to this period in my life. Yes. You know, that some would consider a dark era. Mm hmm And uh, Paper Trail was the, I think it was the explanation of this dark era. Mm hmm And I think that uh, King Uncaged is the conclusion. Good. And so that's the music. And um, regarding the movies, yeah. as a producer and a star, he's uh, going to be doing movies. Uh, it's called Takers. Now, you take a look at yeah. this picture and tell me, I see Matt Dillon. Yeah. Who else do I say? Chris Brown, Idris oh. Alba, uh -huh. Michael Ely, Hayden Christensen, uh, Paul Walker, very myself. Nice. That's very nice. And so now, you're one of the stars? and you're one of the producers. Yeah. That's a good yeah. luck. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Straight out of the joint and back to business. <laughs> no, you, you know what? That's good. You haven't missed a beat. Listen, there are a lot of people who, you know, they can't afford to take that time off. People yeah. forget about them. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You are such yeah. a fortunate man, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And we wish you well with your family and, you know, your, your new life after. Right um, everybody, The King Uncaged and Takers will be released this summer, and we'll be right back. Right